right now on Page 6 TV. Who's to blame in this Cosby Kids divorce drama? Why do you want her to take a paternity test? You feel like she was unfaithful? Her husband speaks out in our exclusive. What are the odds Kendall Jenner and ASAP Rocky's fling will last the summer? When did Leo's angel ex turn into the neighbor from hell? Where in NYC can you shop for groceries with Taylor Swift? Why did French Montana go from Khloe Kardashian to Iggy Azalea? All the answers right now on Pay 6 TV. The page six TV. Coming at you from the heart of New York City, the town with five boroughs and 500 million food trucks. I'm your host, John Fugel, saying we have assembled an amazing cast of contributors, all with their own unique inside information on the latest, hottest breaking celebrity news. We've got page six reporter Carlos Greer, <laughs> variety writer Elizabeth Wagmeister, <laughs> host of Sirius XM's Bevelations, Bevy Smith. <laughs> Don't you finger mouth at me, an actor and comedian, <laughs> Mario Canton! Yeah. Here are today's top stories. As we reported yesterday, former Cosby Show star Keisha Knight Pulliam is entangled in a very unpleasant breakup with her husband, former NFL star Ed Hartwell. They only got married on New Year's Day of this year, okay? He asked for a divorce just days after she announced her pregnancy, and now he wants a paternity test, and now she's gonna have to have a guess the paternity of the baby shower. Coming up, we have an exclusive interview with Mr. Hartwell, but first, Keisha sounded off yesterday on Entertainment Tonight. He left like it was any other day. Said like, goodbye, I was still sleeping in bed. And he texts me, you know, saying, hey, can I talk to you for a moment? Which was weird, I was like, okay, babe, you know, okay. Sure. He was like, you know, this isn't working. But all I heard was, I filed for divorce this morning, and I'm coming to get my stuff. Did you cheat on him during your marriage? I have never cheated on him during my marriage. That's not who I am. You said you will have a paternity test. That's not an issue. Sure. There's no problem. I've never been unfaithful to my husband. This is his daughter. You know, it's one thing when you choose to be in the spotlight. It's another thing when you have a baby. <laughs> Carlos, you broke this story exclusively on, on, on page6.com. It's very sad. Uh, what do you have for us? Well, we did. It was a bombshell interview. Nothing was off limits. Uh, he wanted to react to this uh, interview that Keisha gave. Uh, we spoke not that long ago on Skype, and uh, here's what he had to say. Well, Ed, was she being authentic last night in her interview? Keisha. Uh, I think she, she stretched. Uh, she would tell a half-truth to make sure that she seems like she's... I don't want to say a victim, but she's like she's the one that's right. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, I'm going to tell my wrong. I'm going to tell my wrong. I'm going to tell the whole truth because at the end of the day, that's what prevails. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. And she wanted a baby really, really fast. Mm -hmm. And what I was trying to explain to her is from my beliefs, especially since we didn't actually have a long courtship, that we should actually wait. We kept going on in, in February. Actually, I had to sit down with her. And we actually had a conversation and mm -hmm. said, hey, I think we probably messed up. Uh, even to the point of it's always stress day, 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 day. And I said, are you in love with me? between love and being in love? And she asked me, am I in love with her? I, and I told her, I'm not sure. That so they just got married. She's a few months pregnant. He's leaving her. We messed up. Carlos, what did you get from this conversation? Well, you know, they both, if you watch, they both are sort of saying the same things. What I got from it is that they didn't love each other, and he's under the impression that she want, wanted a baby more than she wanted marriage. Uh, I did ask him about that paternity test, and uh, take a look at what he had to say about that. Why do you want her to take a paternity test? And, you know, is that because she was unfaithful? Do you feel like she was unfa unfaithful? Well, that's because during that time period, she was asking, well, if you don't want a baby, can I adopt? If you don't want a baby, how can I do in vitro? If you don't want a baby, can I freeze my eggs? Can you, can you freeze your sperm so I can make sure? Uh, she was adamant about no matter what she wanted. And that's one of the reasons why we stopped having sex. She wants what she wants. I want what I want. She wants a baby. I want to find love and happiness. But at the end of the day, I think it's fair for me if things don't add up. I do want a test. Well, Ed, Keisha says she's never been unfaithful. Uh, do you, is she lying? Well, I could say she stayed out. She's not came home. 
she's went out of town in Texas for three days. I don't know what's going on. I could say that, but I can't say she's been unfaithful. Honestly, I just want to make sure that it is my I'm not saying that she's a bad person. It's for me. I didn't want to make this all public. I didn't just come out and say, this is my first time coming into the meeting. I just want to say, hey, I found the papers. I want to make sure it's mine. It's mine. I'm going to love it to death. Now, Carlos, uh, some folks say that he was using Keisha uh, for money. She, of course, also starred on Tyler Perry's House of Pain for, for many years. Uh, what do you think? Well, I asked him that. I asked him, uh, was he using her for money? He said no. You know, he, they had their own money. In fact, what was interesting is that they were paying their bills separately. Um, in her interview, she told uh, Entertainment Tonight that she was selling the house. And I asked him about that, too. And he said, well, you know, that's the part of the interview, one of the parts of the interview, that was not the truth. The, ha the house, according to him, is a rental and the lease is up in October. They were paying their bills separately? That's like a gay marriage. That's very interesting. <laughs> I feel like he fell out of love with her. That's what I'm getting. That's kind of the vibe I got, Don't you too, get? Cause, and and the, the paternity test, I mean, I could see he may think that she went to a sperm bank and went, I want those tadpoles. I mean, maybe that's what happened. Yeah, I, I, I got know. the same feeling, but it's very important that I pretend to be unbiased. Um, Elizabeth, uh, of course, this woman was once Rudy Huxtable. She's the youngest actress ever nominated for an Emmy 30 years ago this year. Do you, what do you think is going to happen in terms of the court of public opinion on this? You know, I think that this is just a really messy situation and it doesn't look good for her. Uh, as a woman, I feel for her. I think, you know, we saw what Ed had to say and it seems like she really wants a baby. She's in her late 30s. Her, you know, clock is ticking. I understand that, but I think going and doing an interview with Entertainment Tonight so quickly, crying on camera, I would guess maybe her team is saying, let's get sympathy from America. Let's play the victim card. And I feel for her, but I don't think that this looks good, especially after all of the Bill Cosby press. Bevy, what do you think? Here's what I think. I think Ed Hartwell had to have known when he started dating the 38-year-old woman who has no children that chances were that she's going to want a baby sooner than later. Okay, next, Leonardo DiCaprio's ex, Erin Heatherton, might be a Victoria's Secret angel, but according to her West Village neighbors, she's also Satan's boo. Uh, <laughs> the blonde stunner is being sued for throwing bass booming parties inside her $1.8 million West Village condo, like you do. Keep in mind, this is the circle, circle of life. Every model has to date Leo, just like every New Yorker has to sue their neighbor. Carlos. <laughs> What are sources saying about this? We got the scoop. The neighbors are furious with her because she's throwing all, all of these parties. But let me tell you something about this building. This is the building that the Olsen twins came of age in. When they <laughs> oh, were, oh. seriously. No, they were, you know, their freshman year of college. So this is like they a trigger for, the, for their neighbors then, you say? <laughs> well, 10 years ago, around 10 years ago or so, when the uh, Olsens were in college, their freshman year at NYU, they bought four penthouses or four condos in this building for around $7 million. So this is a building. That was a bargain. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was. <laughs> so the door or men still have PTSD, you're saying? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, Elizabeth, what do you think? Is this white privilege, rich privilege, or hot privilege? I mean, I think she's really young, first of all. She bought this uh, apartment when she was 22, when she was dating Leo. And by the way, her and Leo, they dated for under a year, but she did meet his mom, so it was somewhat serious. But then uh, they split. They said it was amicable. He was shooting Great Gatsby in Australia. So that's what I know about the relationship. As of her, I wouldn't want a neighbor partying. So. I don't care who she dated. If she was living in my building, I would be banging on her door, and I don't mean that metaphorically. I would, I, let me, I, I have, you know, two, these young kids that move in because they get, they have their little money. I got two, two kids that just moved in across the hall from me. I went to them immediately. I said, I've been in this building for decades. If you have a party, I want to know. He was like, yeah, man, we'll sh dude, we'll shoot you an invite. I don't want an invite to your party. I, I don't want an invite. I want to know because I want to know how long the noise is lasting. And guess what? Not a peep out of them. You got to nip it in the bud. <laughs> Thank you, Mario, for making it political. More Page Six TV when we come back. Next, Kendall Jenner and ASAP Rocky, Orlando Bloom and Katy Perry. Should they continue to hit it or quit it? And later, where can you have pizza with Bay and Jay? We're revealing the top secret places to hang with your favorite celebs.